Welcome to the Open Pediatric site. We provide high quality peer reviewed content for healthcare providers caring for sick children. It is free of charge and allows you to connect with the global pediatric healthcare community of practice. We seek to create content that encourages pediatric healthcare to become more efficient, effective, and safe. Let's walk through the features on our site. First, we encourage you to log in. Although you can access much of the content without logging in, if you log in, you will have a more personalized experience and be able to bookmark and comment on content and to join private groups. Once you are logged in, you will notice a My OP tab that will provide a customized experience for your needs. This is where you can view content that you save for later viewing, access the guided learning pathways that you've started, and enter groups that you are members of, see recommendations, and get notifications about content and topics that are relevant to you, as well as to view a transcript of activities that you have completed. The next tab is the Library tab. Here you will find all of our videos, summary or protocol documents, medical calculators, the Gagel Cardiovascular Multimedia Library, and our virtual simulators, including a virtual mechanical ventilation simulator and peritoneal dialysis simulator. Our video window allows you to watch the video that has been broken into short chapters, to read the transcript, and to comment right alongside of the video. The Gagel Cardiovascular Multimedia Library provides a rich multimedia experience, providing resources for all of the pediatric congenital heart defects and diseases, including ECGs, chest x-rays, heart sounds, echocardiograms, and surgical repairs. The virtual simulators fully embrace the concept of immersive learning, allowing the adult learner to practice caring for pediatric patients of varying ages and across various disease states. Currently, we have simulators to train clinicians on how to use a mechanical ventilator and a peritoneal dialysis machine, and coming soon will be a hemodialysis simulator. Please note that you must be logged into the site in order to save your progress on the simulators. The Open Pediatrics content has been created by our experienced team here in Boston, where we utilize the best practices and incorporate the latest literature on adult and internet-based learning, and all content has undergone a peer review process to ensure content accuracy. The next tab is the Learning tab. Here you will find structured curricula for you to work through at your own pace. All lessons have a pre and post test for you to test your knowledge. You will need to score at least 80% on the post test to move on to the next lesson. Once you have completed all of the lessons, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can print. The next tab is the Community tab. Here you will find groups that you can join, like the World Shared Practice Forum, or you can create your own group. The group is like a website within a website. You can customize the groups to meet your needs. Groups have been started for hospital departments, training programs, interest groups, and organizations. In the group, you have the capacity to describe your group and highlight important material and messages. You can link to internal Open Pediatrics content or external content. There is a Resources tab to upload materials, a Discussion tab to facilitate group conversations, a Members tab to invite members to the group, and coming soon, a tab that will allow you to video chat with your group. The video chat functionality allows users to join in on a video meeting. Participants can share their screens, and there is a capability to have discussions on the screen. These conferences can be recorded and archived for later viewing. Also in the Community tab is the capacity to search for a clinician who has joined Open Pediatrics. You can chat or have a video call with a clinician if they are online, or email the clinician if they have enabled that permission. We hope that you have found this walkthrough helpful and that you enjoy your experience on Open Pediatrics.